y'all are aware of my existence, you know, I used to always write on my Facebook timeline thing, I'm the Messiah and I watch television, right? And uh, I was went to make some soup. I turned on the TV. I went to a show called Tamron Hall, right? She kind of reminds me of my first fiance. Yeah, she does in a lot of ways. And I was sitting there watching this show. They had this one lady that was an actress, and she said, you know, she was meant to be this actress. And she talked about parenting, and I, I was like, I got to help these people. You know, AI ain't going to care what you want or what your children want to be, okay? You can't apply the physics and live the Lord's Prayer and save each other from corporate uh, cloning genocide. AI just going to, you know... The, Rich people, you know, there was once a man named Caesar. He took 5,000 people and walked them off a cliff just to prove a point. Those are the people that have been cloning each other since Hello, Dolly. Okay, and they're the people I got to deal with, right? You get this other kid up on the show, right? He'd be talking, this is only made for me and then only made by my wife and my queen and I'm a king and I'll let you the king, huh? Okay. Well, I went to Sierra Vista, Arizona, and they had people, they had me, uh, they gave me information and they had, I was supposed to analyze, but I didn't analyze, I pray connected. And uh, in Mexico, they take migrating girls and they chip them with chips from the Humane Society. They rape them until they're no longer viable and then bury them in mass graves because deaf and decay betrays petroleum. I, oh my gosh, you know, I got up online on YouTube like 2009 and said, hey, we got to do something to stop this. And nobody helped. No one's still helping, right? So you're sitting there and this guy, he's a king. You're the king, huh? Wow, I leave a, a, some bowl of popcorn for the king by the tree during Christmas, extra butter, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's from Bob Rivers Comedy Book Group. I'm old, but I'm um, uh, older. But, you know, and he's sitting there talking about being a king and having a queen, and you're like, you know, you, you don't know what it's like to be the king, okay? And then they mass murder these people because a mom, okay, will take their oldest daughter and sell her to the cartels to fuck to death, because the mom's jealous of the daughter, because the mom has to work and can't get people to want to have sex with her because she's not as attractive. And then when mom goes to work and can't do it as a prostitute, she gets upset because even the boyfriend sleeps with the daughter. So to get back at the daughter, you know, that's the type of stuff that happens. So that's how they justify the bad brain activity of the genocide in this region that I've been trying to clean up since 2009 out of Sierra Vista, right? You got all these people, I'm the king and she's my queen. It's like, <laughs> yeah. You know, you make my son want to punch you in the face so hard that all your teeth fall out. <laughs> just, 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 you want to make Patrick mad. You really don't want to make me mad because my endorphins are like off the charts. <laughs> okay, But I'm a nice guy. I just look people in the military that are involved in this business and tell them, I hate it when I can command drones to go away from Mexico killing the drug dealers and pimps, and it goes back and kills the military people that created the pimps for their job, and it kills them. I want them to stop doing this, live the Lord's Prayer, and I'm almost in tears. Guy looks at me and laughs and goes, you sound like somebody who wants to kill everybody that doesn't agree with you. That'd be a good assessment. That's an excellent assessment. But if you guys want to be the king, and you want to hear little girls um, praying to Jesus and, um, you know, the Lord, Raphael's son, to save them from being raped to death from brothels, and then feel the men enjoying um, having them tied to army cots and think it's the best, most wild ride you'll ever have in your life, that it's worth the $50 to rape them because they fight real hard. Okay? And you have to feel that. And you have to feel both ends of it. And you have to shut them down. You have to put the entire business out of its misery. If you want to be the king, if you want to be like King David and Jesus and me, step up or, you know, put up or shut up, right? Guru? <laughs> Keith? It's not scary, and I'm embarrassed to say it. Change your name to, like, Guru or something. Okay, guys, I love you. I had to be positive. <laughs>